Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 FPS series. In today's video we are going to be showing you how you can make our AI roam within our level when they cannot see the player. As of right now you can see they're just standing there in place until you walk in front of them or if you just shoot them. Um, so what I want to do is pretty much get them moving about within your level if they cannot see the player. So you can see they've lost sight of me right here. You can see they just stop moving. They just completely die off essentially. We're going to give them a little bit of logic to tell them to move around within the player's level essentially. So the way that we're going to do this is open up the simple AI. Inside of here, what we're going to do is essentially run a check every couple of seconds to see whether or not the player, uh, rather the AI, can see the player. And if they can't, we are going to tell it to move to a random location within the navigatable radius. The navigatable radius is essentially going to be a circle that we're going to be drawing using a radius value number to define where it can go. And this radius is only going to include the elements of the map which which are navigatable. Essentially the bits in the nav mesh founds volume which you can see are currently green here. If you cannot see this stuff just press P, add your nav mesh founds volume in and all of that good stuff. So let's go ahead and show you how we can set this up. So first things first, we need to figure out a way that we can essentially tell the engine whether or not the player, uh, rather the AI, can see the player. And the way we're going to do this is by creating a variable, and we're simply going to call this can see player. And we're going to set this to boolean, and the default value for this should be untrue. Now, what we're going to do here is you can see we've got on C pawn. When it does this, we are going to tell it to set can see player between this to true. So the engine knows that we can essentially see the player or the AI can see the player. So set this to checked and then what we're going to do after this on fail or on success, uh, so on fail or on success which is when it's finished doing this, we are going to tell it to set can see player to false. So if we set this over here, success, da -da, and just like that we're going to leave this one as it is. We don't want it to do anything after this. It's going to go back. So what we're going to do now is quickly test this by adding a little print string after this and we're going to set this to can see player and we're also going to add a little print string just after our other one over here and this is just going to tell us cannot see player, cannot see player. And then if I compile this let's give it a go. So if I press play and then if I run in front of these you can see it says can see player and because that one there finished it says it cannot see player and hopefully in a second when I get away from this you can see it stops occasionally and it's going back to the state and basically when it goes into that state we're going to tell it to move but for now it's doing exactly what I want you can see lots of different you know print strings there but don't worry about that that's just because sometimes it can sometimes it can't it's really nothing to worry about um, but if we're directly in front of it just like this you're going to see it says it can see player and it can't see the player it's all good so Moving on, let's go ahead and show you what to do next. So what we're going to do is use the event tick node. So type that in, event tick. And then with this, we're going to run a little delay so it doesn't do it so often. Um, and then with the delay duration, set this to something like three seconds. And then what we're going to use is AI move to once again. And then with this, for the destination, we are going to set this to get random point in reachable or navigatable. So the one that we're going to go for is reachable point. That is essentially um, a point whereby it can actually get to it within our radius. You know, we've got our collisions. We don't want it to try and get to a point where um, it's inside of like a block or inside a wall or anything like that. So it's going to work with this. And then what we're going to do over here for the origin, this is a radius, so it's like a big circle. It needs to know where the center point is. Now, what you could do is you can do this two ways. You could get the location of the current AI, or if you wanted to, you could get the origin to being a point where the player is. So it's running towards the character, but it's not. Um, so I'm just going to do this a simple way for now, and that is simply going to be 
just getting the actor location. So just type in get actor location. And this is going to give me the location of the target. The target is set to self. And what we're inside of is the simple AI. So it's just going to get the location of itself. For the radius, I'm going to make this quite big. You can play around with this. Um, so let me show you sort of how you can see this. So if I set this to five, it's going to be quite a small radius. So if I move this, press play, and then jump up here, you're going to see it's only going to move ever so slightly with these AI. Almost not at all. So the radius that I'm going to set this to is something like 250 and that will work a lot better. Also for the target actor the reason why it's not moving is because we haven't set this to self. So set this to self, radius set this to 5 and then you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So press play and you can see in a second it's just going to move itself ever so slightly, it's not great. I'm going to set this radius to something like 250. So 250, compile this. I've also got some errors, but I'm not going to worry about that for now, as it's all going to be working in just a second. But if you look at these, these AI should start moving in just a second. So they don't seem to be moving. So I've got to figure out exactly why it is that they're not moving. So we've got the delay. And there we are. Target actor is the wrong thing. So we want to hook the pawn up to the self instead. Hit compile. Pray, press play and then take a look at it. So if we just stand over here, you can see they're moving, but they're not moving very far at the moment. The radius is way too small. It really is. And you can see now they will start running towards me when they can see the character, but they stop halfway. And the reason why they're doing this is because it's running this AI move to, you know, to the random location every four seconds regardless. So what we want it to do is to essentially, before it goes over to moving this, we want to check to see whether or not it can see the player. So hook this up to your condition. If it can see the player, do nothing because it's already moving. If it's false, just hook it up straight into there. Hit compile, hit play, and hopefully now, if we look at this, they're gonna be moving around, they're gonna be roaming, that's all good. And then what I'm going to do now is if I walk in front of these, they should just continue following me and following me endlessly until I go and disappear by jumping up here or something. And then from there, they're just going to continue roaming. And that is basically our advanced AI all set up moving around and it looks all good. As soon as they see me, they're going to continue chasing me, and that is all perfect. Anyway, guys, that is pretty much everything for today's video. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Once again, thanks for watching. Stay awesome. Keep creating. Your boy Virtus, signing out. This series was made possible by you guys supporting me on Patreon. If you want to help create other series like this, then check out my Patreon page in the link in the description.